What's up everyone? I have a 5 Phoenix victory for you today. This is another one of my backlog runs which is played from before the patch. So you see some stuff that you might not even be familiar with anymore because it's that far in the past nowadays. But uh, I really wanted to show this off, it's another flame pet so uh, I really like crisping the enemies. And you can see here I am taking an early level up because that was actually the meta one month ago. But unfortunately we didn't get anything good. You also see that I am playing against all packs so I think that will make it a little bit easier for us to get the 5 of a kind. As many of you know the uh, unicorn pack from before the patch was absolutely broken so it was very difficult to get a lot of the runs that you wanted to get. So I am just abusing the fact that unicorn pack was so much stronger than its competitors that we could just play against other packs and still win. But as you can see it's not always going to save us because many of the people were honestly playing on the unicorn pack and uh, just grinding the hell out of that so we'll get a lot of opponents that are from that pack. Whatever the case though we will continue scaling up like um, we have the lucky cat with a gingerbread man on. We get to face a relatively weak team because we haven't won yet. We also have a Murmel to potentially take advantage of all of the mid battle level ups that we will be doing. We actually take a level up right here which is not in battle, it's going to be a permanent level up but I think it was worth it because it managed to give us a Cyclops. And in case you have forgotten this is the old version of the Cyclops where it gives XP and mana an un unlimited amount of times. And it's kind of crazy honestly, like a level 3 Cyclops that is from nowadays is actually weaker than a level 1 Cyclops from the past. Which um, it, it goes to show how much stronger this unit was and uh, it really needed a nerf. But for now we'll just abuse the fact that we're getting tons of level ups, we're going to keep the Lucky Cat maybe up to level 1.5 for now. And uh, we're going to be getting lots of gold and lots of stats as a result. So what is the plan for this 5 of a kind? Um, you probably know what uh, the method of scaling is for this pack outside of the jump meta. But uh, we are going to be going for the jersey devil method. And uh, thankfully we do level up into one right now so we're going to take that. The idea is going to be get a level 3 cyclops then get a level 3 Kedzo Kodo. And then get multiple level 3 units per turn that will power up the jersey devil. In case you have forgotten once again Jersey Devil in the past had an unlimited amount of stats that it could give. It was only limited by the amount of level ups that you are uh, hoping to find. So yeah you can potentially get up to 50-50 from a single Jersey Devil. It's a lot harder to do in Unicorn Pack than in Customs but it is possible and uh, we're going to be going for that during this run. We're getting quite lucky, we already have the Jersey Devil, we have a level 2 Cyclops that is soon going to get to level 3, we only need one more chocolate to make that happen. And then we only need the Kedzo Kodo which is uh, going to be actually relatively easy to get because of the Cyclops giving us multiple level ups every single turn. But uh, yeah it's still going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think we did pretty well to preserve that many hearts. And uh, we should just hope to get the level up on this turn which we thankfully do. So we get even the Kedzo Kodo as well. It is a little bit painful to pass up a Phoenix but we will be picking up multiple of those in the future. Another benefit of going for this level up synergy is that you actually get tons of choices of level uh, 6 units. Or not level 6 tier 6 units. Which will make it very easy for us to find the 5 of a kind that we need. But for now we still have to work on our team. We have a level 3 Bigfoot which is very nice for giving us multiple rolls. The cat le levels up to level 3 at the start of battle as well. So that gives us extra gold to work with too. And at the beginning of the next turn we will get a level 3 Kedzo Kodo as well. So after that we can start cycling tier 3 or lower units to power up the Jersey Devil and I think we will go on our merry way. All that's left for us to do is hopefully not lose but it's looking like this time we will lose because we face a very disruptive star pack team which is fine I'm not really complaining like um, 
I think Unicorn Pack was way more toxic than any other pack at the time. So if, if anything, people should be nagging me for running this uh, setup. Whatever the case though, we get the Kettle Kodo up to level 3. And that together with a level 3 Cyclops means that we will be getting double level 3s every single turn. And hopefully if we manage to level up the Jersey Devil as well, it's going to power up the pets that we buy every turn and hopefully make us not lose. It is a little bit luck reliant, like the Kedzo Kodo needs to give at least one chocolate to the uh, every single pet, which is not a guarantee, it's like a 1 in 8 chance that it doesn't receive a chocolate, the other unit, which is um, unlikely, but it can happen, especially over the course of uh, like 10 turns or something like that. This is going to go pretty late, so hopefully we don't get screwed over. We will continue cycling now, we saw the uh, Bigfoots and uh, now we'll pick up another one. Now that the Jersey Devil is level 3, it's going to give massive stats actually, plus 12, plus 12 to one of our units. And the other unit that we will pick up during this turn is going to be... I don't actually remember, but uh, the best ones that you can be hoping for are the Lucky Cat and the Bigfoot, so I'm looking for one of those. We also have something pretty decent in the form of a Minotaur, in the form of the um, Brain Cram, getting Melon. Wyvern also pretty decent if you want to get multiple selections. You can see I'm taking a look at the pack, hoping to see something interesting. And uh, I guess I was looking for a 5 of a kind Sea Serpent, because that's not something I have gotten just yet. But uh, yeah, it's not what we will be getting during this run. So it, it doesn't really matter for now what we will be doing, we're just scaling up, we will start the search later on in the run. Hopefully we don't lose this time, pretty funny actually they get a skeleton dog while out of one of their units, but I think we will end up being way too weak and uh, unfortunately lose once again. It would be such a shame if we end up losing because we are scaling up so nicely right now, we have the perfect setup and uh, like we only need like one or two more turns of scaling and I think we'll be all good. I'm even so scared that I'm actually going to take a new Kedzo Kodo just because it will have higher stats than the older one and I think that will help us survive better. So yeah, we'll be looking for the units that we will bring in, tier 3 or lower, once again, let's not forget that we're looking for low tier pets that the Kedzo Kodo can actually target. And uh, once again, best targets, Lucky Cat, Bigfoot, something like a Drop Bear isn't too horrible, even something like a Gargoyle, because it's going to be getting lots of mana from the Cyclops, is acceptable, but you can say I'm not going to go for it. Griffin actually kind of interesting because uh, it's going to give you a treasure chest eventually which will result in one more tier uh, 6 unit that is level 3 that you can sell. So that would be higher stats from the Jersey Devil but I don't think the run is going to go that far. In any case though we still pick it up and uh, we end up winning quite easily. We might even make the final transition right here. We have the choice of going for a 5 of a kind Sea Serpent or a 5 of a kind Phoenix. I can see that we have both of those in the shop and multiple copies of them at that. But I think Phoenix is just better, it's more fitting for the channel, for like the fire aesthetic. So you can see I am going to pivot off the level up build and I'm going to go for the Phoenixes. I don't know if I should have sold everything, but I guess it does make sense because everything was level 3, so it would result in extra stats from the Jersey Devil. Chocolates at this point in the game, not really necessary. When you have like multiple Phoenixes, having them at higher levels actually starts hurting your team because you'll be crisping your own pets more often than not. So we'll just go for level 1s and uh, you can see the stats 41, 41, pretty decent for turn 14. And especially after we pick up something like a Nessie to hopefully carry us to not lose, it's going to spawn a fake Nessie which uh, is going to be buffed up by the Jersey Devil and the amount of rolls that we have, so I think it might even be a 50-50, let's see. Uh, it is a 20-20 but I think the Jersey Devil would have pushed it up to 50-50. Whatever the case though, we're not here for a Nessie build, so we sell it and uh, we're going to keep uh, hoping to find the last Phoenix. 
I'm even freezing a cornucopia hoping to get something like a melon or a pita bread on one of the phoenixes. Maybe the front line because the back line is hopefully, um, or not hopefully, but likely to get crypt and uh, as a result it's probably going to make us lose the equipment. But you can see the combo right here, even with uh, only 4 phoenixes with the Jersey Devil on the team, it's actually incredibly powerful. It's kind of a shame that we have to sell it, but now the 5 of a kind is complete, and I believe this is going to be the final term. I'm just going to optimize this team a little bit by getting multiple Peter Breads. The one that is on the second Phoenix is most likely not going to matter, but it's better to be safe than sorry. And this is going to be the run. I really hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.